Greetings one and all, this is Rhythmworks and welcome to my channel and today I'm going to do a tutorial for the Share Factory application which is located in your PS4 which was implemented as part of the 1.70 update. Now I've got to tell you from the get go that what you are hearing in terms of the microphone quality is not coming through the PlayStation camera, it is being utilised with my separate microphone which is plugged into my Elgato which is now being enabled to be used alongside my PS4 because also the 1.70 update included the option for the HDCP function to be disabled. So now I can use my Elgato game capturing software as I used in my PS3 now for the PS4. But um, I'm not aiming this at people already on that level. I'm aiming this tutorial for people who up to now has not had not a shred of interest in um, sharing gameplay, uploading gameplay videos or indeed setting up a gaming channel on YouTube or what have you. But with Share Factory, there's a perfect, perfect entry level piece of software to use to um, compile your clips, to add effects to add commentary, to add music, your own music as well as the music that's supplied and to upload through your Twitter account, through your Facebook account within the PS4 and also to export your game clips through a USB drive and upload it to YouTube from a separate computer. Um, later on this year, the YouTube app will be available on the PS4 so from your share factory, you, you will be able just to move it from there to your YouTube app and that's more or less all done. So I'm just kind of, you know, just helping nudge you along the way to make it a little bit more easier for you to do so. Um, and also for anyone who's on the next level of editing and gameplay editing and game channels and all that kind of stuff, if they can tell me how to utilize the microphone that I already have within Share Factory, it will be a great help because I've tried and tried and tried and I can't do it for the life of me. So that's just something I just don't know how to do as yet, but I'm sure there is someone somewhere that is able to do that. And if you pass on the information, I myself and all the people that are watching this video will be extremely grateful. So thank you very much for that in advance. But anyway, without further ado, Let's get straight into it. And here we have the first menu screen in Share Factory, which gives you two options. The first is a new project, and the second is my project, which you can basically make a selection from all the projects that you have saved into the app. But I like to start fresh, clean, and blind with nothing. So I'm gonna start a new project. Okay, now once we get into the new project theme, you have a list of themes to choose from. Um, battlefield, soccer, shooter, playroom, PS4, share factory and second sun. Now I like to keep my videos universal but under the theme of PS4 which is what I'm using so I'm gonna pick the PlayStation 4 theme so I press select. Okay now when you go into the choosing clips menu you will see that the themes the recorded themes are more or less pre-selected for you. You have the intro, the title, and the outro. Now, me personally, I like to make my videos as snappy as possible and not to use too much time on my intros of my videos. The one thing that can be very irksome when I watch a gaming video is if they spend like 15, 20, 30 seconds putting up an intro, you know, it's like, it's just too long. It really is too long. The maximum amount of time you need to get somebody's attention is five seconds straight away, you know? And that's all you need. That's my personal take. So if you really want to kind of see and visualize the clips, you can just press R2 and you can sample the clips that are there. And there you go. That's the intro. Same thing with the title, and you can do the same thing with the outro. Okay, so now you know what all those three clips look like. Now, noting that at the bottom, you can tell 
how long the clips are by the duration which is marked at the bottom so you can see with the first one it's five seconds long second one the title is eight seconds long the third one is six seconds long and even though you are able to edit them why would you why would you want to edit a title when you already have five seconds which is all you need in my personal opinion so for me i'm going to dispense with the eight second playstation 4 title because i can make my title within the intro which i think is very snappy to begin with okay so now underneath the themes you have your gameplay videos which you have saved within your captured footage in your ps4 now what i'm gonna do is try and pick a short clip okay right i'm gonna pick Call of Duty Ghost, 7 minutes 32 seconds. Um, just to remind myself, I'm going to preview that real quick. Okay, and that's what I want. So I'm going to press cross with that. So that's the clip I'm going to use alongside the clips that I have here. Okay. Now, at the bottom left hand corner, you have the option to select or deselect. You have the option to start the project. You have L2 to bring it to full screen and you have circle to go back. Now, the one thing I've got to let you know from the get go as well is that this application does not have an undo function. So don't get that confused with the undo. It will just take you back to the previous um, screen. And within your editing interface, it will probably ask you to save and exit or save without ex or save without exiting and what have you. It does it does not undo the last function. So it's not as sophisticated as you know Sony Vegas or any or even Windows Movie Maker. You know, it's not even sophisticated as that. But if you know how to work your way around the menu, it's pretty much intuitive and easy to get through. So here we have two clips here and the one clip there, the Call of Duty clip. And we're gonna press square to start our project. Now, as you can see from the left hand side, I've selected three clips and the time is seven minutes and 43 seconds. Now you can select a maximum of 40 clips and have the time maxed out to 20 minutes. And that's just to give you the option to free up some space from certain amount of clips to bring it to 20 minutes. But, um. 15 minutes a 15 minute video is perfectly ample for what you want to do or even less so we're going to start the project here by pressing square i'm going to rename the project i'm just going to say call it okay i'm going to call it cod cod Now, bearing in mind, if you choose a title with your theme, that's what you're gonna see up on the title screen. And you only have a certain amount of letters to do that with. So if you wanna basically put my five kill streak in Constantinople map, you're not gonna be able to put it up there because there's not a, an ample amount of letters you can actually use for the title. So that I kind of go around that by putting the title within the intro screen. Okay, so now you have the intro, the intro with its own transition into the Call of Duty and fast forwarding to your outro. Okay, right. So that's what we have. So to play and to stop, you press R2. Now, we're gonna go into the functions at the bottom of the screen. Now, before we go any further, the commands for the bottom of the screen are X, which is to add. So 
So when you press X, this will come up where you can add another clip from the menu of clips that you had previously, or you can add effects, add transition, which is grayed out at the minute because but once it's grayed out, you're not able to do so for that reason. You can add commentary and add music, okay? Okay, so go back. Okay, now the square with the spanner icon, it simply means to edit. That is to edit whatever track you are on because the tracks that you're gonna be using to compile your footage is gonna be made up of an effects track, an audio track, a music track, and your actual clip track. So those are the four things that's gonna be used. And you know, you will have subtracks within a couple of those tracks to further edit, okay? Right, and circle, the icon there means to go back. It does not mean to undo, so you can't undo a command in that you're just gonna have to manually undo it within the timeline r2 as you can see means to play so there's r2 I've just press that and to pause if you want to jog the track the clip fast forward or fast rewind you could use the touchpad at the top of your dualsock 4 controller and just swipe right and it will swipe your clip forward, you swipe left, and it will swipe your clip backwards, okay? Right, and you can do the same thing with your right joystick. You can move it fast like that, or move it backwards like that. I tend to go with the touchpad option because you can literally just roll your finger or your thumb across the pad and it gives a more precise um, slow jog for want of a better phrase or fine tune rather than the, the right joystick now if you want to do frame by frame you press right on the d-pad or left on the d-pad okay there you go right on the d-pad left on the d-pad okay next to that you have um what i call the snap points is the snap point function where you press l1 and r1 to go to a snap point on your particular clip so with this clip you've got three clips okay now if i press l1 i'm gonna go to the snap point of the first clip the beginning part of the snap point of my first clip if I press R1 I'm gonna go to the snap point the start point of the next clip and so on and so forth so I'm gonna press R1 again and it will go to the snap point of my final clip so however however sorry so however much clips you have in your timeline if you press L1 or R1, it will snap to the beginning of the clip in question. It doesn't jump two clips, it doesn't jump three clips, it always jumps one clip, okay? All right, the L2 button is to put it in full screen, and R2 is the play button, so you can press play and view it in full screen, okay? And if you want to go back to the menu, you press circle to go back. Okay, so I'm going to stop this clip right here. And the final function is options, where you press your options with the floppy disk icon. Well, that's a throwback. But um, yeah, with the floppy disk icon, you press options, and it gives you the option to save your project and to render your movie. Now, to save the project will literally take half a second, if that. So you can come back to that another time, obviously. To render your movie, you just press X. So whatever command you want, you just press X. The time it takes you to render your movie is approximately the length 
of the actual clip of the movie. So if your movie is five minutes in length, if your clip is five minutes in length, it will take five minutes for the movie, for the clip to be rendered and so on and so forth. 15 minutes, it takes 15 minutes, you know? So that's basically that. Okay, so I'm gonna click back. And that is the interface as it stands. Now, next up, we're gonna go into editing and effects and all that lovely stuff that you wanna 